of the defiant woman. Maybe she's a bit of a subtle Okay, well, five brazen ways to accept what you must and you rebel against the world. Maybe you can tell us about how, why you do this, because actually, because we're talking about the emotions, and it was really part of your process of something that you needed to go through in order to get to the stage of being okay with aging. Oh, absolutely. I, I was very not okay with aging. Um, I saw myself as I got older, changing, obviously, physically. Yeah. And that's really where I saw it. Right? I guess that's where we see it. You look in the mirror and who the hell is that? Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, inside every older woman is a younger one screaming, what the hell happened? Um, I could not accept the fact that I was getting older. So I had a great solution. I stopped having birthdays. No one could send me a card. <laughs> um, I missed out on a lot of great cards. <laughs> My husband would have to go to the mailbox and get any card that might have fit through and destroy it before he saw it. Really? Um, poor mom, when my folks passed away eight years ago, they were 96 and 91, I found a drawer full of unsent. First of all, how sad was that? I don't know. But I got a call one day. We got a call from our daughter, who was at the time 30, at the time married, and she said, Guess what? I'm pregnant. And I said, Guess what? I can't talk to you anymore. <laughs> and I know that. It's just like that. Um, I wasn't having birthdays, ergo I wasn't getting older. How could I be a grandmother? And that's when I realized I had really gone off the deep end. But denial is one thing. Right. Um, I, I had really pushed the envelope too far. And if I was going to enjoy the rest of my life, thoroughly, entirely, completely enjoy it, I had to do something about this thing called aging mm -hmm. and learn a new attitude, learn to turn it around into something that I could embrace, accept, and, uh, and be happy and play. So what did you do? I went out and I met women. I met women who were also getting older. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I talked to them. We had seminars. I had full-day workshops. I had weekend-long workshops. We had little living, living room um, meetings. Women that I knew, women who introduced me to other women, um, women that I just met in passing. And um, I discussed with them this idea of aging. What is it about aging that is painful for you? What is it about aging that allows you to accept? And I discovered that accept was the word. Those women who were comfortable in their beings and their bodies as the ages passed, as the candles on the birthday cake became more numerous, those are the women that accepted that's the magic word. And acceptance, thinking about acceptance, brought me to the Chinese philosophy of Taoism. It's something that I learned back in college and something that was waiting for me somewhere in the recesses of my mind to, to re-explore, to rediscover. Uh, Taoism teaches us that we're part of nature. Nature evolves. The universe is always changing. Why not? Then we as human beings. And, you know, it, it helped me understand this, this, this evolving thing that, it's okay. I, I am getting older. I am still me. I am part of nature. Um, the trees change. Why not me? That was the first step. Mm -hmm. That was the first step to accepting the birthdays. But then I had to do more. I had to do something about. Well, let me back it up. My mom always accepted her birthdays. But my mom became complacent. Okay. And she became, in my mind, old. Quote unquote old. Um, she stopped doing the things that she had done when she was younger. Not because she was physically incapable of doing those things, but because she was old. 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 Once I accepted the aging process, I recognized that that, that piece, that part of me that wanted to remain vital, and busy and active. That's the piece I was mourning as I got older. Yeah. 
person, and I discovered I didn't have to. That became my defining. I learned to defy the stereotypes. I started playing the banjo when I was in my 50s. I was convinced everybody was going to be like a stereotype. And they loved it. All my friends thought it was wonderful. But I started playing the banjo. Uh, not when they heard me. <laughs> but the idea of taking the lesson. I did my first um, breast cancer three days, 60 mile walk when I was 60. Um, and I did my first hot air balloon ride when I was 60. And I've decided to embrace some new, wonderful, exciting thing every year. And of course, as, as I continue, define negativity, define my self limiting behavior, and as I said, define the stereotypes. 